Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Today I have my instruments, sorry, <laughs> instruments with me because I want to tell you the story behind them and which one I started with and now what I'm playing and why and how. So yeah, my very first instrument is not here because I was in a music class before, which meant that we had an instrument in class that we played regularly every week and with my class it was a flute yeah so i had a flute for a while but i don't have it anymore then i noticed that i really like music i was already pretty good for my experience with the flute okay after the flute i started with the violin i started to play the violin in second grade which is with eight years old <laughs> This happened because in my village there is this instruments day where you can try out instruments and then we went there and then I saw the violin I'm like oh I want to try that out and then you can try it out and I loved it and from then on my mom said yo why not and I'm like yay <laughs> and that's how I got into it my first violin was a one-fourth violin which is about you when you look from here to here it's maybe about this big because you just have to measure it with your arms because I could not play on a full-sized violin. This is a full-sized one. And I played the violin for 10 years, which is not that long actually. It is a long time, yes, but not that long for a violin because professionals, they started with like, I don't know, three and then still play. And I'm like, whoa, that's a very long time. Violin is one of the instruments that you have to play it a very long time in order for you to say, yeah, I can actually play it well. The reason why you have to play the violin that long is because in the very beginning, in the first few lessons you have, you're not even playing the violin, okay? You're just practicing how to hold it and how to hold the bow. And it's like, bro, are you saying? I remembered my first lesson. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can play now. And um, no, I just had to do this. That's all I did, okay? That's all I did, <laughs> but that's normal. Since we're already on an instruments video and music and tra-la-la, I'm gonna play something small, but no judgment. I haven't played this thing in years. By the time that I decided to play the violin, me and another kid <laughs> could go into someone's lesson with that teacher that was my teacher for 10 years. And then we could choose between a violin and a viola. So actually, funny story, I actually wanted to play the viola at first, but eight year old me could not memorize or could not remember the word viola at that time so i just said violin which i regretted for a while but you know at this point i'm like really happy with the violin now on to the viola if you don't know the difference between a violin and a viola shame on you i started playing the viola a few years after the violin in my music school my teacher let his students play the viola sometimes and then they could choose if they want to change to the viola or if they want to play the viola as well or the other way around. With me it was like this that they needed violas in the orchestra which I also played in then and so I decided why not and this viola is not mine, still not mine, it's the property of my music school but I am allowed to use it and have it as long as I play in the orchestra. I still play in the orchestra, but you know, COVID happened. So we're not playing at the moment. This is the violin and this is the viola. So for reference, as you can see, the viola is bigger than the violin. And um, also deeper in tone. So this is the highest tone in the violin. This is, that's an E. And the highest tone in the viola is in 
A. I really like the viola. It has a very deep and nice warm tone, which I actually wanted in the beginning, but you know, my dumb ass didn't know what viola is anymore, so I had to play the violin, but both of them are really beautiful. <laughs> This is the guitar my godmother gave to me and um, it was a gift for my birthday two years ago. It started like this that I got more and more interested into guitars. I always played my friend's guitars like Ney's guitar for example and I really enjoyed it even though I could only play like two chords I was enjoying it so much. So I told my um, godmother about it and she decided to buy me one. She got me a guitar that is very good quality, so I'm very, very, very happy with this. And I still play it a lot, not as much anymore as before, because when I got it, I played it day and night. I got home from school, I played the guitar. When I woke up, I played the guitar first thing in the morning. So I really played a lot. And then, um, yeah, I got better and better. This part broke twice. Once it was my fault, <laughs> I always put my guitar up like this on my wall, right? It was leaning on the wall and one day I just put it too straight and then it fell forward and oh my goodness, my heart. When I saw that, my heart, oh my goodness, I was so sad. I think that was right before I went to summer holidays to the Philippines and then I told my mom, and she got so angry. <laughs> but yeah, I got it fixed. The second time was in choir camp. In my school, we have this choir camp. Yeah, I brought it there. But one morning, I put it on the, also on the wall like this. I just didn't learn my lesson. And then I went to do something, something. And then I went back to that wall. So anyway, it was on the floor like this. And my face was like, does anyone know what happened to the guitar? <laughs> and they're like, no, no, no. So I picked up the guitar. I opened the bag. Hey, voila. Head is gone. But yeah, anyways. I'm extra careful now. And as you can see here, um, I decorated my guitar. So the first time I had to change the strings, um, I decided to put some art on it. And I literally took an edding, a Sharpie basically, and started drawing. I did not plan anything. I just went for it. So when I did some mistakes, I just did like a black, a black something. Yeah, you can see there where my arm is. It kind of goes away. And at this point, it's a bit dusty underneath. instrument I want to show you is my ukulele. For some reason I first wanted the guitar and then the ukulele but you know. Um, I got this ukulele in the Philippines for like 40 francs um, which is not the loss for a ukulele of course but I'm still very happy with it. Um, it is a soprano ukulele that's why it's very tiny and it's not the best quality of course but I never wanted the best ukulele because I'm more of a guitar person anyways. And right after we got home from the Philippines, I took another Sharpie and doodled on it as well. I had the same problem as on the guitar. There where my arm is, it just goes away with time, but it's okay.
And now to the last family member. Um, my e guitar. It's a Ibanez guitar. I'm not very good with the names and the models. I'm very sorry about that, but I just know it's a smaller size guitar, so it's good for traveling as well. And I got this baby from my very good friend and roommate uh, for my birthday, so I'm very happy about that. It was a big surprise, and um, yeah. I don't really have a lot of stories yet with this because it is pretty new. But for a while I didn't have an amplifier yet, so I was looking everywhere. And I was lucky, I found one on Facebook Marketplace for 75 francs, which is quite cheap. So I got that right there, it's in our living room. And I like to play on it, but it is quite loud, I mean I can make it um, quieter of course. So in case I want to play at 3 in the morning and I don't want to give anyone a heart attack in the morning. I got headphones. So that's it for my video and I introduced you now to my five instruments that I still have and I hope you enjoyed it and maybe you learned something new about me and my musical hobby. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned for the next video and bye bye.